Happy Tuesday! I'm running a little late this morning. I was perfectly on time. I'm really chuffed with myself for being on time. And I went downstairs to make my lunch and my cupboards are so empty. It's depressing. It's food shop day today. So tomorrow we'll be stocked up again. But like I was putting my lunch together and it was literally like nothing there. So that's fun. Day three of my six day sludge after today we're halfway through. It's all very exciting. And yeah, that's the day. Oh, let it run, lady, run. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be at work. So I'll see you when I get out. Toodaloo. Today was a day I yeah, this is probably the worst day so far today. It was just kind of bad from the get-go. <laughs> so, if you remember from this morning, I said I was a little late because I, there was no food in my house and I made my lunch in the morning because I'd forgotten the night before. Which is not an excuse to be late or anything, but that made me stressed. I arrived, I arrived before nine and I was ready before nine but my manager was a bit upset with me for it, which is fair enough. But that made me like stressed because I get really stressed when people get upset with me. And we started doing our appointments and they were fine at first, but unfortunately they overran. And when an appointment overruns, it screws up the appointments for the entire day. And this was the first appointment. And so we spent all of the rest of the day trying to catch up. I think we did manage to catch up by the time I, I finished. And the last customers I had were super lovely and super efficient and super easy so it was really like quick to get their um stuff done which was really nice and they were really lovely people as well um but yeah it was just a lot of not difficult customers but just it was a lot considering we only have our appointments it was just asking for a lot of us in a short space of time and i got very very stressed and very aggy and my feet hurt and yeah, I felt really guilty about leaving, honestly, because like, it was just one of those things where I came in and I was like, there's still so much to do. But I didn't, I, I just, I was told to leave, I, so I did. <laughs> I just, it was one of those days. See, this is, the, this is the dilemma I'm having at the moment about volunteering to do overtime. Because part of me wants to for the sake of more money, but it's just so stressful that I'm kind of just, I don't really, it's not like I'm in dire need of money, this money is going 100% into my savings. And as much as it would be nice to have a little more, I just don't know if it's worth the stress or not. But then it's just a guilt thing that all of my other colleagues are pretty much volunteering to do a little bit of overtime, at least a little bit, and I'm not. That's the dilemma I'm facing at the moment right now. Do I do the overtime? so I don't feel guilty but I'm mentally and physically drained and end up hating the job and not wanting to come back next summer or do I not do overtime and feel guilty about it so that thought has been plaguing me all day on top of the generic stress that we had Chris bless him at lunchtime I was ranting at Chris about everything that had gone wrong already in my day and he was like there's a fish and chip shop next door to where I work and he was like, I'm just popping up to the fish and chip shop for my dad for lunch. Do you want me to pick you up some chips? And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so yeah, I had some stress chips at lunch today, which is good because my lunch was very sad and pathetic. I don't know if I told you what was in it. It was a sausage roll, a pack of raisins and a biscuit. That was it. That was all, uh, that was all I had. That would not have kept me going. But we've just been caught out for dinner. So I'm going to go down for dinner now, which is super nice. There's my kitten. She was asleep on my dressing gown when I came in. Weren't you gorgeous? Yeah. She's such an angel. I love her very much. So yeah, that's been my day. Not fantastic. But it's over now. Not to worry about until tomorrow, hopefully. I'm gonna go have dinner, I'll catch up with you before I go to bed. Tis the end of the day. We just, we had dinner, 
played some Wii Party and I went for a little drive saw some houses Chris's parents were looking at I, 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 I have mixed feelings I think um, I think the houses I found are better but yeah now we're gonna go to bed but today was not a great day <laughs> it was very stressful and I hope tomorrow will be slightly less stressful but it's you know same as the past two days so doubt it will be any different <laughs> day three of the six day sludge is over though three more days to go <sighs> I can do this I can do it for the money I think it's payday at the end of this week but I'm only getting paid for like the first seven days that I've done <laughs> because it, the cutoff points it like the week before I don't remember I think I think I'll, it will only be a small paycheck but it's still still the first reward for my efforts <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for watching everyone we'll see you guys tomorrow say bye slippers well. <laughs> say bye Chris yeah Mm-hmm. <laughs>